Looks like chronological mode is not completely chronological. We're having another out of sequence chapter. Back to being a little kid. I'm bored, Nathan. Nathan, I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought your book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here, and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go find a book in a dark room as someone that's kind of afraid of ghosts. Because I'm constantly tormented by them. Sounds like fun. So, where did he leave that book? Oh, cool. It's a room that's 90% books, and I've somehow gone the wrong way. Whoops. Hello. Oh. Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. It's a little funny. Is there a book over? Nope. Not there. Oh, I can take control of Aiden. Alright. What can I play with? Oh, there's something. Finding a secret. They must all be mine. Sweet. They're mostly like concept art and stuff like that, so it's not that big of a deal. But it's kind of, but you know, find a collectible, grab a collectible. There's not really anything else to do in here, is there? I have a terrible record for finding the collectible so far. Aiden? Are you doing that, Aiden? Sure. Why not? I'm sure nothing will happen. We'll just wander on out of here. I literally see dead people. You're not gonna react at all the fact that I fucking scream back there? Bad parent. Bad. <laughs> you found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. <laughs> Jody. Jody, you okay? You look pain. She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes. Yes, hold on. Nathan! It's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Nathan? Nathan, what's up? They were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Wrong driver. Wrong side of the road. They're dead. Jody, let's get you off to bed. Hey, let's stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. We saw another scene where he was giving us mementos to try to prov uh, evoke emotions and memories of his lost family.
And that's probably why he's making a giant infra world portal. Risking everyone. According to our intel, the Republic of Kazakhstan has discovered the existence of the infra world. Found a rift, conducting experiments from a secret base located in the province of Hainanjiang. We don't know what stage they are in their experiments, but we've detected important fluctuations within the infra world. That means they've found a way to interact with the other side. Now your mission is to destroy this condenser and any other advanced technology you find. Even if we manage to destroy the condenser, the rift will still be there. Well, building a condenser is a costly and time-consuming business. But this operation will gain time to better understand the evil world and make sure that no one try to use it against us. I assume the site will be heavily guarded? Well, you should expect considerable military resistance. Team will. Team? Show them in, Marla. Hey, baby. Good to see you, girl. Clayton's team goes with you, a small, agile commando unit able to avoid detection. The mission begins in two days. Good luck. Be careful, Jody. No one knows what you're gonna find on the other side. Don't worry. I don't think I'm ready to join the infra world yet. Good. Because I don't want to lose you. Good to see you. Uh, looks like Aiden remembers me. Keep your distance, Ryan. Aiden is even less forgiving than I am. Right. It's fascinating seeing them try to frame him as a love interest because he is basically an antig antagonistic force for 90% of the time that he's in this game. <laughs> he's always an opposing force. He's always screwing you over or lying to you or manipulating you or being a dick. Tired of all this. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Of course, I will kill you regardless. But it could have been fast and painless. Instead, it will be a very, very slow and agonizing death. So, I ask you one last time Who do you work for? Where are you? Not sure why they feel the need to tease that moment. It's completely deserted! It's a little weird just because it's like the only time it happens the entire game. You sure it's here? We're right on top of the coordinates. Storm's getting worse! What do we do now? Hey, Jody, ask Aiden to find a shelter somewhere. You hear that, Aiden? I guess it's not true. They have a flash forward about that one house burning down during the homeless chapter, and then they have a, then they have a flash forward about that happening. It's like they're afraid you're gonna get bored midway through this chapter, so they want you, they want you to think that something action is gonna happen later. So we're looking for shelter. Like that's not totally caved in and destroyed. It seems to be the normal around here. 
Was that one good? What do you look like? You're freezing out here. Could you please find somewhere we can hide? Oh, that one's pretty busted. Do 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 do. Just taking a round look around, Jody. Don't worry. I'm on it. Even if there might be less urgency, because I don't feel any of this weather you're complaining about. How's that? Nope, that one's busted too. This neighborhood sucks. Oh, hello. Look at that. There's a house over there. Look at Got that. Got it. Let's go. Bet you weren't expecting a skiing segment in this game. Might have been a misuse of Vidan's powers. All you had to do was go forward a little bit. Oh well. You're not gonna bring them inside so you don't get they don't get seen. It's fucking freezing. What are we doing here? It's just a goddamn fishing village. Our informer duped us. That's what happened. We better get moving before they have to dig our frozen dead asses out of here. Three days. Walking on ice, eating snow, for nothing. Fuck! I find the asshole that sent us here. Hey! Look, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up! You guys, I'm freezing. You think maybe we could build a fire first and argue later? She's right. We'll set up camp here till the storm blows over. I'll contact HQ and get instructions. All right, yeah, we'll never get seen by anyone that might be in control of the infra world. Leave skis outside, and then maybe plan on uh, creating a fire. Why don't we just shoot flares in the sky, too? All right, so how do we set up a fire? What are you guys doing? Fuck it. Everything's wet. Let me try. All right, and you want to help them out? Damn, all this stuff is soaking. Fucking genius. <laughs> Give me five minutes. Did you see that, Jody? Yeah. yeah. Great work, guys. Some sometimes my genius goes unpunished. Where is wait, where was she putting her was he just putting his hand behind my back? That's not how you warm it. I'm, I think we're gonna have to talk to HR. Is that thing self-heating? Hope so, because I don't know how it would, it would stay warm for three days otherwise. Don't mind me just pressing buttons on the C4. Hey, I programmed Snake onto it. Anyone want to play Pac-Man? On the C4? Guess what happens when you lose. Desperate for a pee. Don't go too far, okay? It's minus 40. I don't plan on doing any sightseeing. <sighs> yeah, go out for a pee. Yellow snow. Just add that to the list of things we're doing that could draw attention to our location. All right, there. On what I assume is a covert mission. I feel like you're going as far away as possible for this. You could just go around the corner. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Press R2 to urinate. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't have to pee anymore. <laughs> The way she's walking makes it feel like she peed inside her pants at this point. <laughs> Might be the applicable response to a bunch of tanks and stuff going by. They're here. I saw them. Where? On the main road. A convoy of armored cars. They drove right by me. Did they see you? No. No, I don't think so. Let's roll. Let's follow them! And then that unattended fire burned down the only remaining uh, house in town. America. <laughs> and don't forget the snowplow if you start going too fast. Whoa, camera freaking out. Bingo. I didn't go see what's inside. You all hit the deck with skis on. It's not going to be very easy to get back up. Oh, nope. They all popped them off. Okay. I was going to say, like, they're not going to be able to really stand up very well at that point. Hello. Yep, that's a base. I found where 100% of the population of this village is. Hey, buddy. You look nondescriptly Asian. Wow, suddenly I can go really far away from Jody. Oh, that not that far. They're loading crates into into submarines. Submarines. That means the rift is. It's underwater. I mean, they must have a, a base down there, and they're using the subs to shuttle supplies. How many soldiers? I can see three. Tell Iden to take them out. Iden? Get rid of them. My favorite part is the murder. Do I kind of knock it down on him or something? Don't seem to be able to play with this with this, with this guy. Wasn't there a guy here a second? Oh, they went in. They went down. They're gone now. Up, oh, I can take over this guy. Yay! Casually killing people for doing their job. I feel like the good guy in this game. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Tinksa! Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. Yay. I forced a guy to kill his friends. We're the good guys. <laughs> I get this place open. It'd be really awkward if I got all of them killed, like I did with the uh, people in Africa. Because then we wouldn't have a way inside. Then I guess we have to stop to think about what we've done. Fuck, Nick! Sorry. Oh, you could give me some warning. So, what do we do now? Just give me a second, okay? Anything in here? Any sweet buttons to press? Oh, Aiden, why are you all the way back here? Start with Jody, silly. No. Not much going on in there. Now I know what it's like to die. Isn't it great that you know what that feels like now, Jody? Let's see, what are we looking to do? Do I have to do anything with this thing, or just walk up to it? This way. What's up, guys? 
Alright, cool. Nice talking to you. I've piloted a sub like this on the CIA simulator. I mean, maybe we can use it. Yeah, sure, let's use their sub. They won't notice anything. I'm looking for a plan, not a way to commit suicide. How else are you going to get underwater? What, what exactly are you doing? I'm finding a solution to the problem. Nice idea, but it won't fool them very long. Yeah, well, maybe not. But that fucking rift is not going to shut down by itself, is it? Okay. That might work from a distance. Then what? We take the sub down to the base. And then we take it from there. I'll go with her. What about it's us? It's a two-seater. You stay here, you find us a way out. By the time we get back, there's a good chance we're gonna have to move fast. What? Wait, that's in order, Nick! I like that there's one guy in this group that might pass as one of the soldiers, and we're not using him. <laughs> we're using the two white people. <laughs> Unfortunately, she's kind of, the base shouldn't be far. She's kind of willing to die just because she can't have a normal life while you guys are chasing her. You guys are still the bad guys, by the way. <laughs> Making me do things I don't want to do just so I can try to have a normal life afterwards if I don't die. Wow. I remember this part looking really great originally, but I think uh, Soma has put this to shame now, unfortunately. Because Soma was fantastic at underwater stuff. Be sure to check that out if you haven't yet. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of two schmucks in a submarine who boldly go where they hope they know where they're going, maybe, before. Hopefully I'm going somewhere. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, the radar's bringing up a map now. Ow. I mean a base. They seem displeased. I am impressed. Few men would have held that for so long. Perhaps you will be more sensitive to your comrades. My questions are simple. I want to know your name, who you work for, and how you learn of the existence of this base. Of course, you also have to tell me what happened when you crossed the containment field. You say nothing, you hear me? I'm going to ask the same questions over and over again until you answer them. What is your name? That looks painful. 
All you have to do is answer. And your comrade will not suffer anymore. Still won't answer? What do I have to do to make you speak? Perhaps you will not remain silent if I go a little further. This is so unnecessary. You only have to answer and this nightmare will come to an end. Answer, I beg you. I hate to see people suffer for nothing. Except if Lara Croft tells you anything, you're just gonna kill us both. An urgent request demands my attention. I shall return soon to continue our conversation. I know this information is the only reason I'm still alive. But thanks for spoiling that no matter what happens, this is still gonna go poorly for us. Now what? We find the condenser, destroy it, and get out. And any idea how you plan to do that? No. But I'll figure something out. You're the one that wanted me here so badly. I totally thought she sealed him in for a moment there. Alright, time to be careful. What can I get done with just you? Oh, look who it is. Mr. Douchebag. We just possessed we just possessed Unshun and the Baser Man. Slicing up eyeballs, I want you to know. Now find the condenser before they realize it's up. Girly so groovy. Anything else over here? Nope. Alright. Cool water effect. Those must be open windows. I take it back, this is the part that looks like perfect dark. The door over there. That must be the way. The condenser's close. I'm feeling echoes coming from the rift. This is too easy. I don't like it. No big deal, it's just Stargate. Uh-oh. Johnny! Johnny, what's happening? It's hiding. Get down! One button! Let them leave! We need to ask them! Sweet. This plan worked for about 60 seconds. Uh-oh. So Aiden can't get through the portal, which is why he stopped being possessed. And now Jody doesn't know where Aiden is. They're separated for what might be the first time ever. So Aiden needs to find a way inside. Can't go through there. This is an ammunitions area. That's for choking someone out. I don't see how that'll get me in. Whee! 
Is it security? Sure is. I need a way to turn off their power. Let's see, I could possess you. If I possess you, I can probably grab a gun. But if I want to grab a gun, I probably have to choke out that guy to get the guns, because otherwise he's going to stop me. There's a sleeping room? I could take over that guy. He's yellow. If I had a reason. I need to find the thing that'll deactivate the stuff. Another bedroom? Man, three bunks high. That's rough. I wouldn't want to be the one sleeping on the very top. This is a food room? The mess hall? Oh, that's actual footage. That is not rendered or painted or anything. I just wanted to see if they were used any, any any of the faces. Looks like they all use separate faces. This guy only ever makes this face, though. This guy's been yawning for 20 years. What's over here? Oh, uh, is that a camera? It's Where an, are you? I didn't. It's an alarm. Oh, another barrier over here. Not going that way. Shower. Don't necessarily have a reason to use the shower. I'm looking for a power room. Or a device switch of some kind. That's the bedroom. That's where I'm trying to go. Mechanical. Where's that wrench? Over here? Yep. If I can turn this thing off, we're good. But it won't let me interact with anything in this room, apparently. Which is a little weird, because that usually works. Okay. So I need to grab the guy that I can possess, so that I can try to grab... ...a gun. One guy down. Alright. Hello, friend. You are mine now. Bye, everyone. Um, this is awkward. How do I leave? Help. Why can't I leave? That didn't- oh, now it opens. Oh, there we go. Why couldn't I just leave on my own? That was weird. That was a weird distinction. The powers always feel a little bit arbitrary. Oh, this one just opens on its own. The guns... They're unguarded. Are we gonna shoot the crap out of the generator? Primitive humans, so destructive. Do do do. Get around this real quick. Am I not able to shoot the uh, generator? Oh, I thought I'd be able to just wipe out the power. All right. I must have to just shoot those two guys to death. Sorry, everyone. This, this ends poorly for you. Whoops. He's not taking that well. Oh! The ghosts have gotten out. Alright, now we need to find... Oh, not that way. Oh right, we have a, we have a connective... 
We have the connective rod. Let's heal her up. It's okay, I'm sure we can heal up Ryan's eye socket too. That's how this works, right? We'll just grow him a new one. I mixed up which, which joystick was which. Ah! Sure did. Quick. Get me out of here. Working on that. Oh. Did I just get stuck in the door? There we go. Pew. Man, I hate you, door. Get out of here. There she is. You're not gonna grab stuff from that okay, I guess it won't be weapons because you thought you were imprisoned here. Need to find Ryan. He's probably over here. Being lame. All right. Ryan, are you there? It's cool. I get to wear eye patches forever now. That's pretty cool, right? We've all had a rough time. Buddy, up. Oh, gonna have to deal with this. Get out of here while we still can. The rift is wide open. Entities are just gonna come pouring out if we don't close it. No, it's too late, Jody. We gotta go now. It's the only way. You know that. And now everything's a clusterfuck. I need the explosives in the interrogation room. Bip, 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 bip. So how in the world is Ryan gonna get out of here? There's ghosts attacking everybody. The explosives. I need the explosives in the interrogation room. All right, there we go. Probably need Aiden again. Oh, maybe not. Oh. She is not having any patience right now. Bye, buddy. Where are your tattoos to save you now? Probably want to grab that gun, by the way, Jody. No, grab the gun. Grab the... You're not gonna grab the gun? Alright, fine. No big deal, it's just the, your number one defense against all the random humans. Aiden's kinda slow. Yep, ghosts are here. Maybe they won't notice us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how Ryan gets out of here alive with these things everywhere. They're not exactly friendly. We made it this far. There's a diving suit. It's just your size. Asian. Oh wow, she knew exactly how to use all this. Wait, did I just become a big daddy? Little sister. I'm here for your Eve. Fear is probably the correct response. It's pitch black. There's gotta be a light on this thing. 
You are likely to be eaten by a Gru. Keep calm, Aiden. And carry on? They're oddly passive so far. I doubt that stays that way. This is definitely taking me back to Soma, though. Oh! Bodies! How'd they get... Interesting place for them to be. No suit. They must have been dragged down here and drowned. Alright, time to close my third portal, actually. We've been really busy. These, these damn humans just won't stop meddling with the barrier between the worlds. It actually kind of takes me back into Dragon Age territory. With the veil. That ended in a similar way with a bunch of demons coming out of portals. When will man learn? Probably never. Cool space guns, though. Magical, reality-destroying space guns. Huh. I genuinely have not been attacked yet. That actually surprises me. Are they getting used to me? Am I already dead? No. Probably not. Alright, three minutes. I'm out of here. This is where we do that at gag where we find out that the uh, the bomb was upside down and it means a completely different number. You idiot, you didn't set it for 55 minutes, you set it for 2 minutes and 2 seconds. Or something. Oh. Hopefully this is the way to go. I am I got a little turned around when, I, when we walked in a circle. <laughs> Maybe they can't see underwater. Alright, this this also takes me back to Soma. <laughs> Leave me alone! Bad touch, 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 bad touch. You're gonna need to climb, Jody. Oh, she made it. Damn. The greatest discovery the world has ever known. Destroyed because of you, stupid American bitch. Thanks for your help, Aiden. I'm glad you're here to help me in these situations when I really need you. I 
to the other side. Come back to me, huh? Come back. Hey, come on, Joey. Don't die, huh? Don't die. Don't die. When did that happen? All right, made it through. Apparently, oh, slightly more than half of people actually uh, do give up and talk at that point. There's two entire things where I didn't make either decision involved, because I didn't touch that whole part, apparently. Oh. A third of people fail to infiltrate the base altogether. What happens at that point? Half of people... I'm, a, I'm from the minority that's rescued by Ryan? So I must, if I had messed up like one last quick time event, maybe I could have just won that fight altogether. Wait. 91% of people infiltrate the base with possession, but 69% of people infiltrate the base. Isn't... There's a little bit of a lack of clarity in what those mean. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> 